Oh! You know that right there is gonna be the best. Oh my god, that is so good. I'm not even joking you. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. I am the CEO of this company, also happen to be a stunt double in Snow Buddies. Look at him go! But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Comfort Cartoons Christmas Flip! It's about to get a whole lot brighter at Peck because your boy is here, and today is going to be an amazing day because we are doing a little bit of Christmas season stuff, but not just that. We're going to be going on a hunt to a few different places today to find some awesome stuff for the collection, as always. You guys know we do the buyout series where we go to different stores and we look for anything cartoon-related, 2000s, 90s, Disney, anything that fits the vibe. But today, our reasons for heading out the door, other than my normal one, going to get Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell is because it is Christmas and we are gonna be going to look for some stuff to add to the background. The thing is, we're doing this background when we did Halloween, it was awesome. And when we did the Christmas stuff, the tree looks awesome. But if we added some other stuff and you try to spot it. Tell me got in, it. yeah, yeah, I know you had it before we even set it up. Who do they got the blueprint from? But in the comments, let me know, count how many Christmas items have been added. If you can get it right in the comments, I'll for sure wrap the reply to it because that's unbelievable if you could spot them. They blend in. But the reason why is because it's so much orange and green. That fits with Halloween, but with Christmas, you kind of need some lighter colors. So our biggest goal today is to get something that can actually work on the shelves to make a snow. I don't want it to be too much to where it's hard for us to clean it up. We'll have some ideas, but we gotta be able to find it. I also wanna get green Christmas lights. Ryan, edit some green Christmas lights on this. The real thing will be at least half as sick, okay? <laughs> But then not just that, I also want to get a Santa hat to change out my normal crusty crab hat that I have on the back of my chair. I think it'll be a fun way to at least make the room look a little bit more Christmassy. Without adding anything else to our list, let's go ahead and hop in the car. I'm actually adding two more things. Ornaments or anything else sick that we can find. But to help spread some holiday cheer though, I mean hitting the like button would definitely help me out. And maybe it'll help get you on Santa's good list. And not his naughty one. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the list either. So guys, we're in the car right now. It is looking great. I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky. There's a lot of clouds, man. That's a seascape over there. <laughs> okay, there are clouds in the sky, but it's a great day nonetheless. I didn't see all the negativity out there. I'm sure all those clouds are just located over our for next location. We're going to Walmart. <laughs> And then I'm thinking we go to Five Below because I know they have ornaments. We'll go to the, some other places around there if we can find some stuff that's good. And then if we really, really, really need to, we might go to Home Depot because they have like everything in terms of Christmas stuff. Everything's gonna be pricey, but if we need it, it's probably gonna be there. So we're gonna start Walmart. We'll go to Five Below, Dollar Tree to get like a little central stuff, little small decorations to fill stuff in. But I think we should be able to find everything amongst the store. We're just on the journey. And I hope you guys enjoy all these Christmas style videos. Even though this one's kind of like not fully Christmas streamed 100 percent i'm sure we're gonna find other stuff there let's go ahead and head to the dusty destitutes of walmart this was worth it alone to come Ooh, okay they have the nickelodeon slime condones they used to have something similar to this with like do that green chest the sucker that can stick into it yeah yeah, yeah. ryan will put it up on screen this is similar to that but these are gummies with actual slime dipping sauce okay so we're gonna grab two of these, one for the collection and one to try out. You know, maybe we'll come back another day when the slime is like the actual display is a little low. Oh, I got some out of my finger. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, and you know the drill, guys. We'll grab three of these guys to see. We'll grab one here, right. one here, right. and one I here. Like that one. That's why this is gonna be the gold one. All right, we're gonna grab it. If history's taught us anything, is I'm right. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. History's not taught anybody anything. It's the teacher actions over and over again. That's, that's what I've learned. Good. Okay, so we got some Naruto stuff here. We're definitely going to have to come back here for sure for the other channel. But, dude, this is definitely up the alley of this channel, though. We're oh, going to get a yeah. large for sure. It looks like we only had one. It's a large. Thankfully, I can fit that guy. That's sick. You know, I did my own uh, little... Well, no, it wasn't a little hunt. I just went here first off. But okay. I saw an Avatar Windbreaker here. A windbreaker, five below. Yeah. So maybe, we, maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. Maybe we will, but I have trouble believing there's a five dollar freaking windbreaker we'll see you guys know we typically look at all the funko pop stuff and everything they usually never have anything cartoon related it's always just a bunch of like marvel squid games stuff like that but look at this i mean south park ranger stand marsh walker like i'll grab it we're just gonna get just stand this time i mean they have some really awesome stuff we'll get a shot of it though
Okay, so we got the Sonic one right here and the SpongeBob one. I think you already know which one I'm gonna get. Yeah. It's gonna be this Grogu one. No. <laughs> yeah, of course, we're gonna go and get this one. The Pikachu one is kinda dope too, though, but I feel like this one's too expensive. Look, it's digital. This is smaller digital. This is almost analog. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this SpongeBob watch, $5. It's got the pineapple on it. We'll go into more detail later. All right, guys, so we just got in here right now, but the thing. Are you a rapper? Like, <laughs> you're the hype man? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why he did that. While we're in the store right now, we already took a look at everything they had in the store because we did the Black Friday video here. But, you know, they got the you know, ribbons going up and stuff. So I'm sure we'll find some stuff. Let's go to the back where they have all the holiday stuff. I think that's going to be our best bet. holiday cards there's some really cool ones like hope christmas fills your you know heart with joy the oh that's super cool i love it with this heart expanding and growing but i want to see if they have any spongebob or scooby-doo related ones that would be awesome okay well it's not the christmas section but we always need to grab a new spongebob card if we don't have one hope your birthday is so spongetastic that is awesome with the 3d pop out we are for sure getting that just for the collection let's go ahead and pick one up they also have the scooby one but we already saw this one before and then this one will be on your last birthday you get that <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think you got to this is why we came to Walmart. $3 and I presume, presumably 24 cents. Okay, that's insane. 100 mini lights for just $3. We're going to get just two of these at least just to have for detail spots. I think that's great for $3. Yeah. Wow, 650. Math. 648, sir. Okay. All right, you got me. You got me. Yeah. All right, so I mean, we looked for the felt, but these are the biggest squares they have. And they're 50 cents each, and there's only like 10 of these. So we're not gonna be able to do felt. But that is a good idea, especially if we're only doing like one shelf. Hopefully they have some kind of like little sprinkle on snow, but let's go ahead and look. Okay, so here we're in the like, I don't know, cotton section, but we're gonna go ahead and maybe grab this for right now because when we did the spider webs for the room, we were able to like lay them in a way that kind of seems similar to snow, but this is not as like stretchy as the spider web. We're not gonna be able to find the spider web stuff at this time of year, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. But maybe we could use this stuff as something similar if we can knot it down enough. Try our best to see if we can make it work somehow. What is this, the car, buddy? You, so if you have a passenger, do you just like deflate it and then you <laughs> have to grab this L? I do, yeah, you just don't use it then. Like that's for your passenger. No, I'm getting three of these. I can ride carpool. No, you, don't, you only need the one to get to, to ride carpool. Oh, you think I'm gonna just leave out the freaking elf and the damn reindeer? He already doesn't have a red nose. He's already ostracized for being a regular reindeer. Let's take him with us. <laughs> This is what life's about right here. Absolutely. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my freaking. This is. This is. I love that stuff. That novelty <laughs> stuff. You can only get this time of year. I love that. You can put wheels on this and skate it. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I do almost want it almost to put legs on it as a table. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Where, where's the, the half pound cup Reese's? That's where I'm waiting a for. A half pound cup Reese's? Do you scoop some out for ice cream inside? You know, I gotta be honest, I think I'm looking more forward to the peanut butter. Ooh, okay, okay, peanut butter ice cream. I think that's a perfect compromise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but they have some awesome gifts here. They got the freaking movie night for two, which is pretty sweet, but like, again, we're looking for anything cartoon related. Dude, what the heck? Oh, sweet. That is awesome and right up what we need today. This is kind of a weird display, but, but I hope that the front of it has some kind of design that's not just red. I think it might just be red all the way around and then just have that in there. But either way, I took a hot cocoa and some kind of card with it. We're picking that up, like, it's not even a question. I was just gonna show you the Grinch stuff, guys, but I mean now, but this is way cooler. Okay, so we're gonna pick up that for sure. I, we're finding way more stuff than I anticipated, that's for damn sure. Man, those are both good throws. You just blocked them. Well, yeah, that's my shtick. You were supposed to let it hit the camera. <laughs> Dude, look what I found, though. Oh, I didn't really pay attention to what it was. I was just like, we to had throw the it. right idea, though, honestly. Because look what we picked up as like a uh, example piece. But this is like what we're looking for. This is literally just the same thing as the webs, but just the Actual snow thing. version. So we can go put this back. This is going to work. We got everything we need. There's no ornaments. I already looked, but we'll check. Pretty Sounds much good, good to go. Sounds good. Nick, I see is Jojo Siwa. Peppa is a stretch. And baby shark. That's true too. 
but there's no Nickelodeon ones in here, unfortunately, so I don't think we're gonna pick any of these up. Like, I almost wanna get this Peppa one just because we don't have anything else, but see, I'm gonna leave the Nick Miss Cree sacred because Peppa's a technicality. Man, they're getting better. Do you have the Grinch in your car? The Grinch who stole your car. If you give me a ticket, he's gonna steal your Christmas. <laughs> the Grinch who stole your Chrysler. <laughs> but we also got Elf too, buddy. It's crazy that Will Ferrell is becoming like a Grinch. Like, it's a person. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's unbelievable. But they don't have anything spongy, no Scooby. I would have definitely picked it up if they had that. But it's still awesome stuff to see. Okay, so I was looking everywhere. As you, as you can see, I got a lot of different options here, but I finally found the green ones. There's all these lights, but we found some orange ones. And we also found some green ones. I'm gonna get maybe at least two of the green ones. I think we're only gonna need one for our tree, but we're gonna get another one just again for accents. Okay, so we're gonna leave the Christmas section. We found everything that we needed back there. Now I can go back to my home inside Popcorn Tin Mountain. Okay, so you guys know that we had to check out the Funko Pop section to see if there was anything. We already looked for all the Christmas stuff. Dexter. Yeah, we already have this guy though. Honestly, I'm surprised we, to see it. Yeah, what we actually need though is the Johnny Bravo from this series because we have the Funko one. We don't have just the regular Johnny Bravo, but they got some pops here that are pretty cool. Like you said, nice to see anything. Okay, so we just left Walmart and to be honest, we made out like bandits. Put the money in the bag. Most importantly, we stocked up. You stocked up. Those are all yours. That's eight. <laughs> yes, they absolutely that's are. That's 16 liters. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Prime Meridian. I think that's the first time I found that in the store, man. Not the first time I found this. It won't be the last. All right. We're back. See how I messed up that snow? Like it was nobody's business. Oh, you're waiting to say that one. <laughs> but we got the buffalo snow. It's called buffalo snow because it's like buffalo's fur. And because right here inside this Pokeball is a buffalo. <laughs> But we got all of the holiday stuff right here. Let's go through everything we found and let's go through all the fun stuff that we found at Five Below as well. But make sure you guys subscribe because very soon we're gonna have a video making this whole room very holiday themed. Hopefully we do before Christmas. And then next year, since we have all the supplies, we'll be able to get started a little bit earlier, probably around the middle of Thanksgiving. But anyway guys, let's sit on down and get into it. Okay, so first off, we got the Buffalo Snow Gym. So we got some awesome stuff right here. We have a value size snow. We got two bags of that. We can move on from that. But right here, we got 50 feet of garlic that we're gonna be putting along the top here. A little trim right Garland. here. Garland. Garland? Not garlic. Garland. I bet you Garfield is jealous. This guy got a whole land. But it's non-lit and we got 50 feet because we're gonna use this in conjunction with our snow to kind of balance things out, get that tiny smell. You guys will see how we're gonna incorporate all this stuff later, but we got the garland. Then next up, we got these mini green lights, but they're not that mini. Like they're actually pretty solid sized lights. Hit with two bonus ones, just in case you break some or something like that. Pretty cool, but let's go ahead and plug these in real quick just to see the green we're looking for. Okay, so we got these guys plugged in and they are looking cool. So I can already imagine, dude, that's gonna be so much an awesome effect onto the tree back there. Can't wait to add our green lights up there around the whole room. I hope we got enough. This stuff stretches out pretty far, so I think we should be good. But we got the green lights. Let's go ahead and check out the orange ones. Dude, we're gonna have to keep these lights year round. Like, there's some aspect of this that we have to just incorporate. Like, that looks so sick, dude. I love it. And I also feel like if you work around with these enough, there's some way to make perpetual power. <laughs> You'd have to just be like L, like deduce it, or like playing to come up with some evil plan. But I think you would get perpetual power from this. But either way, I just love the way those two colors look together. It's one of my favorite two color combinations. It's gonna be exciting to put them up in the room. So again, make sure you're subscribed so you see that. All right, then next up we have the Awesome candy cane Krabby Patties. We're definitely gonna be putting this in the background somewhere today to stick around. This whole container is only 150 calories. This whole tube makes it look like so much more food though. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. And you have three grams of protein with all that beef. You know, Mr. Krabs didn't cut no quarters. The next up, we have the SpongeBob Cocoa Mix. And I'm not gonna lie, this would make a great just background decoration for us to have. But I'm really curious to see if there's actually something on that other end of the mug. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. All right, what's your theory? Yes or no? Yes or no? That's not a theory. Is That's a theory. We don't know. I guess of the two options of that theory, I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> so we have this little hot cocoa mix right here with Pat. Hey, Patrick's on the back. We didn't see him back there at the Christmas tree. Got some marshmallows. I'm sure those will be good for life. And then let's check it out. Bro, this is literally no embroidery. <laughs> There's no embroidery. I see it here. This is the boringest Christmas mug I have ever seen. Come on. <laughs> you gotta lift this table up with this stick. 
It's not even like a clean stick that you can get off. Look at this. That's so resilient. Okay, we cleaned that guy off a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh. We cleaned that guy off. The only thing in here is that guy. The little SpongeBob inside of it. I will say he's very cute. Not very well painted, but cute. On the bottom, it does have the SpongeBob logo at least. For a second, I'm not even gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be like a non branded mug with just SpongeBob in it. But a new one to add to the mug collection. This is. Not one of my favorites I've ever released. Okay, so let's get into it, man. Let's, you know the drill. We gotta start off with our guys here. But we got some awesome stuff today. Oh, we forgot this at Walmart. We got this card right here, too. He was amazing. As I read it in this store, you guys can see it right there. But I love this feature. Stick around, of course. We're gonna be adding this to the collection. We have a couple cards already, but not one like this. Amazing. <laughs> All right, so that was an awesome one, but let's get into stuff we got at Five Below. We gotta start off by scalping these guys. We got the classic Dastic. We got the blue for the foo. And you got the purple. The Herkle. But this is my least favorite flavor. Okay, so we got the figures out of here. Let's get them. Let's get them. What does Larry look like one of these bags? Oh, <laughs> come on. That's not cool, bro. <laughs> the only bags I'm getting are in the gym, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was actually, like, kind of got me. I was like, oh, no way. I think it was like the tanness of her mouth. I was like, oh, it looked kind of goldish. Kinda yeah. goldish. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Hype it up, hype it up, hype it up. <laughs> Mrs. Puff, why, Mrs. Puff? What you gonna do with that big fat boat? <laughs> All right, next one up. Let's see it. <laughs> We're not talking about this. We're not talking about this. We're talking about this. <laughs> Mrs. Puff. All right, we got these three guys right here. We do not need them. So let me going into my giveaway bag over on whatnot. If you guys aren't following me on whatnot, make sure you guys go follow. If you get $15 off your first purchase, if you guys don't know what whatnot is, to buy and selling platform where you can buy all types of awesome collectibles. I buy pretty much all my Funko Pops there at this point. I highly recommend it. So make sure you guys go check it out. I'll see you in the next stream where you can use that $15. Next up, we got these guys. I cannot wait to add this to our Galay Grub right there. One of them was sticky. That's a sticky one right there. This one right here, we're going to add to the Galay Grub. This one right here, man. Wanted to make sure my Avatar shirt was far away from that because this is going to be a mess. Oh! Oh my gosh. You know that right there's gonna be the best. That gelatinous gel jelly. Oh. None of it came up. A little bit did. What does it taste like? Green apple? Isn't it, is it green apple? I'd be mad. It's, it's green, apple. green apple. Damn. It's just like, there's other green things. <laughs> what are you, a lime? Hell yeah. What are you kidding me? Lime and lemon sponges. You are a green apple Skittle type of guy. I like the lime Skittles, but I'm a green apple. Case I'm closed. A all right, guys, so right here we have the SpongeBob. We're gonna try it out right now. I don't usually try some of this channel, but it's a little later in the day, so I can't. But there he is. We got the SpongeBob dipped in the slime just for the visual of it. That is awesome. Like, it's just such a cool thing as a Nickelodeon fan to be able to dip SpongeBob into the slime. Awesome. Oh my god. So this is just like a normal gummy and green apple sauce? Sauce. Sauce. That is so good. I'm not even joking you. Really? I was a huge fan of these back in the day. The digging dip. Because you'd be <laughs> digging through that sugar. I love that kind of stuff. So this is right in my alley. I love a uh, sugary sour galosh. Galosh. <laughs> my mouth's <laughs> watering, dude. Go ahead and take a little dip of that if you want some. Doesn't that doesn't look like a cheetah when you do that? Oh yeah. Dude, you gotta try it. It looks like a plankton paste. Yeah. Wash that down a little bit. Wash wow. down the air oh my with God. that. I could eat these all week. I could not. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you don't like them? All week? It I is mean, so good. No, it's good. Oh my God. It's super, super concentrated. That's the word I'm looking for, which is good. I don't think I could have many of that, but I can enjoy one. All right. Well, you see it here first. Part of the clean plate club right there. Uh, I wouldn't say so. It looks like you got a lot of salt. No. <laughs> oh, you really did it. Yeah, not all that comes up. It's super gelatinous. I'm so used to us trying stuff here and it's terrible. <laughs> but this is so good. You got the Nickelodeon slime, adding this to the collection if I don't eat it before we get there. All right, the next that we got here is Ranger Stan Marsh Walker. And I believe the only reference I can remember from this is from the Fractured Butthole video game. I don't know if there's an episode based around it, but let's go ahead and pop Stan out so we can check him out. But then right here we've got Stan. He's got like these mustaches on his head, which are really cool. But I actually did not expect to even find anything cartoon related in the pop section. So the fact that we found one is just a win in itself. We got one of the set of four. Okay, the next up we had the Susie Carmichael. We already have one in the collection. 
collection, but for right now, I just couldn't leave it around for $5. Okay, the next up, man, this is kind of a little cool one to me. Like, I mean, it's just a watch, but for $5, to be able to get a SpongeBob branded watch in your collection, it's pretty dang cool. Back in the day, these watches used to be like $15. I mean, now to be able to get one for $5, some things have gone up because of the future, and some things have gone down because technology's gotten better. <laughs> but I gotta say, it is an awesome piece. Nonetheless, for only $5, right there, we got the SpongeBob watch. We're not gonna be opening this guy up just because it, it's a watch and not just that, I would rather keep it in the collection. You do see we got the pineapple up here. Um, looks like he's hanging on to something. Oh, he's hanging on to a Glove World blimp. If you lift this piece up, you can actually see he's holding on to a Glove World blimp. Yeah, a little cool detail, five bucks, why not? Okay, next up we got our last couple items here. So I got the shirt, but I also got a free hanger. So that's like something, you know? Yeah, you're not supposed to take those. I don't think they followed you for it, but you know. Okay, because somebody came I'm knocking the other day because I ripped the tag off my mattress and I'm worried. Ooh, look at this thing. Do not remove under penalty of law. <laughs> All right, but then right here, guys, we next have the Avatar shirt. And I gotta say, this thing is nice. We got season treason Zuko. <laughs> you know what's interesting is that like this doesn't look like him. That looks like Zuko, but that kind of does it. It looks like someone who really looks like Zuko. That's Buko. He's the same, but similar. And then we got the Avatar State Aang right here. Yes, sir. This is when he's at its most powerful form. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> And then over here, we've got his staff, which is classically, it's not just to Aang, all the Air Nomads would have staff similar to such. This is like later seasons, as you guys can see, absolutely awesome. I mean, it's a white shirt, which typically at Five Below, we leave those behind because they're kind of something you could see through, but it's Avatar, so we picked it up. All right, the net last item we got here, guys, I don't even know if we had this in the collection already. I wasn't 100% sure, but we got the Rugrats coloring book. I think I referenced it in another video, but we didn't pick it up. This is the modern Rugrats. But if you open it up, all of these pictures on the inside most of them are from old Rugrats coloring books back in the day. Like we've seen that image since the beginning of Rugrats, literally the first couple episodes, that is a commercial. So I mean, they, you know, why not? Like you said, like they're- Yeah, you know. Good, two words. <laughs> The fact is that we still get merchandise for this is sick. I mean, you got some cards in the back, you can get those guys graded. Look at that, you know, but actually this is, a, this is a memory game on the back too. A lot of little bonus pieces here. But like I said, just really cool to see a new produced Rugrats product. Anyway guys, that is actually it for everything today. We found so many awesome things, but the part I'm most excited for is actually getting this room started and a Christmas vibe. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon, but you guys know the drill. Without any further ado, scan it. Okay, so we added the candy can right over here. Very simple spot. I kind of wish the curve went the other way, but it is what it is. We're gonna put it right over here. And then for this guy right here, this is gonna be a classic in the collection over here. So I wanna make sure we put it in a good spot. I'm gonna go ahead and move our General Meal SpongeBob figure. I'm gonna actually put it right here. Just, it's like cool. It actually like overlays like a little billboard right there. That is perfect. And then for our Kellogg's guy, for right now, we'll put him right up there. Okay, and so for our SpongeBob watch, usually I was gonna say we put it up here because we have our SpongeBob watch watches up here from the past, but very soon we're gonna be having some more, like I got these blister holders right here, we have the yo-yos on, but we're gonna get longer ones soon. They're like way longer because that's not really gonna help us out that much. So we're gonna put it on here. But like I said, coming into new year, we're gonna be doing some renovating in the room here. So do we get some adjustments on the entire room, but for the time being, that's where we're putting the watch. Okay, and like I was saying, we did get one last time, but it wasn't this one. So now we got the two different variations of the Rugrats coloring books to add in to our book collection right there. So we got both coloring books in there. That's what we're adding it for right now. Oh, and we found a riser for the tree, which is the actual futon we used to use in this room. So this is what we're going to actually use for the riser on the tree. So we got a lot of things checked off our list today. And for the SpongeBob card, we're going to be putting it in the stationary section with all the rest of the cards we've gotten so far. All right, guys, that is actually for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys smack that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. You guys are not going to want to miss this video on your screen right here. But the next video coming up, you're definitely not going to want to miss. We're decorating that tree we're gonna be decorating this room and it's gonna be a whole different vibe in here so i can't wait for that i can't wait to enter the new year with all of you beautiful people so make sure you subscribe check out that video i'll see you guys over there and as always rat pack i will see you beautiful people in the next one adios Bloop.